All right, we're here with a duel. I would like to do a four-player game at some point, but for now I'll just show off the deck in action against a single enemy. Um, I kind of always say enemies, and they're not necessarily enemies, they're friends. Friends to have fun with, because magic is about having fun. Even torny fags who say that it isn't, they're having fun. And they wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't fun, I'm sure. Or else they have no souls. I don't know, whatever. So this hand has nothing but lands, life gain, and a Sangromancer, so it's a perfect hand. It's exactly what this deck wants to do. Nothing. Uh, Mulligan? No thanks. And we'll let him have his turn. Hopefully the keyboard clicking is not so loud as to be annoying, because this is a mechanical keyboard, and I really love it. And I love the clickety sounds that it makes, but I could see how that would be frustrating for people. Interesting. I could Bojuka bog him twice, in theory, uh, by bouncing it with Boros Garrison. But I'm not going to um, worry about that. I'm just going to play it now because it comes into play tapped. And then if I want to do it again, I could. And I'll ship it to him. In fact, I'll F8 so that he can take his turn. In a four-player and multiplayer magic, it is very good etiquette to tap all of your lands and activate any sort of activated abilities you might want to activate. If you have, uh, I'm not going to play, wait, was I on the, yeah, I'd have to discard, so I'm just going to play a planes and pass. Um, what you want to do is tap all of your lands, mana burn doesn't exist, so it doesn't matter anymore, you can just tap them and then lose the mana. Ooh, rights of flourishing, this could be ridiculous, let's find out. Okay, um, I think this turn I'm going to play... Land, land, Sangromancer, I suppose. I could go for Diabolic Tutor right for the combo, or at least half the combo, but nah, I'll just go land, land, Sangro. This puts a little pressure on him, gives me some initiative. Um, we'll be drawing tons of cards. This guy's gonna get real big real fast, is the problem, because. Ooh, unexpected results, which got treasure hunt, which didn't do anything. Or, oh no, it did do something. It, you, you cast treasure hunt. Okay. Well, he's not killing me. Um, oh, that's going to get me lots and lots of cards. For now, I'm going to do Boros Garrison, returning, Bog, play Bog bog his graveyard and then I'm going to talisman yeah that that mana there and then I'll hit for three so he can play his guy it'll get six then it'll grow to 12 and hit me and it'll have done 18 commander damage and then it'll hit me again and I'll be dead so, in essence, it's like it's a 7-7, seven, because seven, it gets bigger and bigger. It'll come in three swings, pretty much no matter what. I'll save the chump blocking for when it's biggest. I don't have a lot of... Oh, he annexed my garrison. That's annoying. Um, well, I'll just play more bounce lands. And I could f use Diabolic Tutor to search for a way to deal with that. Oh, I could get rid of Rites of Flourishing and... Uh, let me think about this. I could use, let's see, play two lands. I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Not enough. So I can't use use it to DT for something to get rid of these two. Do I have, oh, I have Mortify. I could Mortify the Annex. Um, do I want to do that? I kind of do. I don't want to give him that much. That, he stole my land. That's a pretty sweet thing. So I can just... Yeah, go Swamp, Swamp, or, no, nah, let's do Swamp, Swamp, Black, Black, Colorless, Colorless, Tutor, and let's tutor up, where is it, it's one of the few, uh, where is it, oh god, I've gone mad, I can't find Mortify. I'm an idiot. There it is. It's under M. It's in alphabetical order. Suddenly the world becomes clear. Alright, let's just blow it up now. He has 
potential mana leak mana, I guess. But if I let him untap, eh, whatever, it's not worth it. I want my land back. And he just F6'd, and I'm attacking with Sangromancer. So, yeah. May have been a waste of a tutor, but something about that just pissed me off. Stealing my land. My land. Okay, he's unexpected results again, which hit him a land. And then he gets to keep casting it. I'm not, I thought he already cast unexpected results and it hit something, which meant he can't do it again. Whatever. Um, not really interested in blowing up his rights of flourishing quite yet. Although he might be. He might have decided that he's let me have enough advantage and like blow this up at some point. We will see. At this point, I'm going to, depending on what I draw, probably just lay down the Carnarium and replay the land. Throw down, plop down some more stuff, keep ramping the mana. Let's go for Carnarium Returning Bog once again. Just in case he has any graveyard shenanigans, I can replay Bog at a later date. I won't replay it now, I'll just play that. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana available. That's enough for... Rakdos Signet would put me down to... Uh, pretty sure I just want to play Rakdos Signet here. Rakdos Signet, and then I can tap 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 which is enough for well plus chalice. Works for me. Oh wait, no, this is, it's eight, so it's enough for sphere plus chalice. Uh, I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, yes. Sphere of safety. And, oh, this might draw a counter spell. Ah, spell carnival. Okay, I don't care. That does that 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 thing he just countered does literally actual nothing right now. Um, so instead, I'm going to deploy my win condition of Chalice of Life, and then tap it, Mize, and attack him. And that's my turn. I don't know why he countered that. Like it wasn't going to be that sick against him. He only needs to attack me with one creature repeatedly, his commander, and then I'll die. So I'm assuming Vorash is coming out now, unless he has... Oh, he has nine cards in hand. I shouldn't really assume that, because some, sometimes the commander doesn't mean anything. Okay, he acid must my garrison. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. He really wants to, like, mana screw me. Coiling Oracle. Okay, more dirtling. Like, I really would have been in trouble if he'd just played Vorash as soon as possible and started attacking with it and putting counters on it. He's got... More of the bounce land plus rights action going on. Alright, so. Ooh, Blood Chief. That's part win con. Um, Alright, let's play Rupture Spire and pay for it. Let's. Hmm. Well of Lost Dreams, Beacon of Immortality is a cuckuck combo. And I think I have to go for that instead of trying to do anything else at this point. Um, I'm just going to toss down the bog. These colors are notorious, like, graveyard shenanigans colors, but he doesn't look to be on that plan. So I'm just going to max out my available mana in the coming turns. Uh, I'll flop down a Blood Chief, because he's going to lose life this turn when I attack him. I'll plop out a Well of Lost Dreams. I'll... Schlongify the Chalice of Life. I'm just making up verbs now. Uh, I may pay X. I do believe I will. I kind of mistapped all my mana here. That was dumb. Oh well. Oh, crud. I didn't... Dang it. I am not paying attention. Oh well. That was silly. But next turn I'm going to be... Potentially, if I had unlimited mana, I could draw 45 cards next turn. So that'll be good. And Ascension gets a counter. Yes. Okay, next time, remember to tap the mana, then put it into the X. And don't float mana for no reason. So I'm down one card to eight, but 
as long as he doesn't make me discard this card, then I should be pretty good, because I'll be drawing... Right, let's see what he has before I start counting my chickens. Please not something that will make me discard a card. Please don't cast this card out of my hand. That would suck. No Palancron. Okay, that's interesting. So he's still, he might be going off this turn somehow, because he gets to untap uh, one bounce land. Yeah, he made one mana. Or two mana. Or one mana? I don't know. Okay, he's doing a lot of stuff. This is going to be big. But I'm about to reload as well. I'm like an atom bomb, about to whoa. Oh, 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 explode. Oh my god, he's copying Palancron. He's going off. He's going deep. Am I going to get killed by a bunch of Palancron clones? Palin clones? Sarah Palin clones? Sarah Palin crons are beating me down. This is definitely going to stop my Sacromancer. Okay, wait, hold on. How does this card work? Shuffle your library. I just don't remember how this card works. Shuffle your library, reveal the type card. If it's a non-land card, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. If it's a land card, you should put it on the battlefield. But I thought he already used this to do the card draw spell from earlier. Fuck it, I don't remember. Storm count four. Yeah, is he going to storm me out? Is he going to bounce all my permanents? That would be kind of sick, actually. Temporal fissure me to death. Or halfway to death. Okay, and it got him another land, so he gets to cast it again. If he wants. Unexpectedresults.deck is interesting. It's pretty cool. But he seems to have fizzled out now. Okay, I go to 44. You got me. So now I'm going to be able to turn on my Chalice O'Death. Assuming he lets this resolve. I have a sneaking suspicion it won't resolve because he's got mana up. So let's try some other stuff first. Let's try... Alright, uh, let's use our colorless mana properly. And let's, yeah, let's pay one life and draw, or gain one life. Damn it, I did it again. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I made the same mistake twice. All right, cool. This is a mistake that I will not make ever again, question mark? Oh, well. I actually might need a lot of my mana this turn, and I'll have more chances to pay mana to draw, or to gain life, etc. Um... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. If I pay 2 mana, I can then immediately put those lands, so I'll still be at 9 mana. So I can then beacon and draw 3 cards. Is that good enough? No, I kind of want to just play Kokusho. I think I'm going to crack this, getting Plains Mountain. play them both. And now I can run out the Kokusho and threaten to draw cards if he kills it. Uh, yeah. I think that's alright. I want to, like, cast Beacon and sink all my mana into drawing cards off it. This turn I did other stuff, so... I'm not... Th I don't think it's right to pull the trigger on Beacon quite yet. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Play you. See if this draws a counter spell. Yes. Okay. What? How did he? Oh yeah, put it on the bottom of his library, and he's shuffling his library. So that's kind of interesting synergy. He's got a cool deck. I'll give him that. He got his spell crumple back, having shuffled itself into his library, and then so on and so forth, drawing it again. Unexpected results, shuffling around. Ah, okay. Um, I do need this beacon of immortality to resolve. He has so many lands and so much stuff to do, but he can't really kill me, like, right now. Oh, alright, well, now that's bad. He correctly identified the threat and destroyed it, so now it's just going to be keeping me alive, pretty much. And I'll play Terriel. I'll have to try and do something about that. Constantly hitting lands off of his unexpected results. It's 
pretty sick for him. He has a cool deck. Cool deck. Mine is not firing on all cylinders because he's being able he's able to appropriately disrupt it. Alright, so unexpected results finally goes away, giving him Frexian Arena. Could be good for me if he starts dying. Alright, he's gonna blow up that with his tech edge. I still have a decent amount of lands. I'm just gonna do that for spite. And he gets to, okay, he's attacking with one, so I'll just take four and go to 42. Getting kind of far away from Chalice of Death, but, uh, okay, he still has three mana untapped. I'm going to get to draw two cards this turn. Interesting. I think first I'm going to tap this. Oops, I forgot the thing was gone. Oh well, um, I'm going to tap that. Should I go for the beacon or not? I think what I should do is go for it. Because if he counters it, he has three mana available to counter it. Oh well, I can then deploy these guys, hopefully counter free. And if he doesn't counter it... I just want to put my life total in a ridiculously high spot where he, I can not have to worry about stuff. So I'll go leaving this, 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 this. One, two, three, four. Or no, wait. I can... Sorry. It's hard to play and record. I'm not quite good at this yet. Or ever. Or potentially at all. Yes, choose me. Let's see if this gets countered. He may or may not actually even want to bother countering this. Yeah, I, okay, so I'm at a high life total. If the well had still been there, it would have been a lot better because I would have drawn one, two, three, four, five, six cards off of that. But that's all right. Instead, I'll just play Vizcapa G, or no, I can't. I tapped my mana wrong. God damn it. I can't play them both. I only have one. Yeah, I'll just have to play the Angel. I don't have enough mana to play them both anyway, so I'm just going to play the Angel. Colorless, that, white, that, that, Battle Seraph. Okay, I'm probably doing this all wrong, but that's alright. I can make this guy run into my guys now to pick him off, and then I can play Terriol and bring him back. Alright, so... Is he going to turn it face down to kill off Bassandra? Who knows? Yes, he turned it face down. That means he might be killing off Bassandra because he wants Coyle Girl to not die. But if he does do that, then his shapeshifter will be in the graveyard and I can steal it with Teriel. Alright, so he's got a bona fide engine going. Yep. All right. Well, I'll gain my life. And that guy will be a target for my Terriel, unless he does something about it. He might. He could reanimate it or something. Yeah, he's witnessing it. Okay. He's going to witness back. Well, possibly. No, he gets the shapeshifter. And the shapeshifter can get witness, which gets something else. And gross, tacular stuff ensues. Oh, wait, no, he did get back the Putrefy. Alright, well, I'll gain my one life anyway. Oh well, none of that either. Still, though, I don't see him killing me anytime soon. He doesn't, he should just play his commander and start threatening me with that. But a lot of people play as though commander damage doesn't exist. I can see why. It's fun to, like, play the cards in your deck. And commanders, like, ideally you're only playing your commander when you're in my position where you just don't have anything else to do. Alright, let's see what we hit this turn. Another land, and a Thrall Parasite. Okay, well, we can start extorting. Let's play him. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12 mana, which means this is 7, this is 2, I can, that goes to 8 and 3, so I can, in fact, play them both and extort both times. So, playing you, 
extortion. And three, four, five, six, seven, cast you, and also extort. So now I can start, I can get back his shapeshifter, which will let me copy um, something good. Copy his Ewit, get back my Chalice. I think I actually can make blue mana, I think. Am I allowed to make colors out of my commander's identity? I don't think so, but I could use his morph thing. All right. So he's definitely got the card drawing engine going better than I do. His Rites of Flourishing is helping him more than me. His hand has just been stocked the whole game. And that is a flaw of this deck, because it doesn't have turbo card draw. So, I'm hoping that I can either mize into my win cons, or, uh, I mean, Blood Chief Ascension needs one more counter on it. Oh, he bogged himself. Okay, to stop Teriel, yes. Master Biromancer, that's going to make things big. Big enough to worry me with my 93 life. Yep. Oh, Palaka Worm. That's a good one. He can gain some life. Still have triple his life total. Like, I just love that even if I lose this game, I had 93 life at one point. Not even trying, just casually double my life total at one point. Extort a few times here and there, you know. So it's a 9-9. Nine -nine. He still, he, hmm, he can just bounce my Terriel off of his Palancron. But if we do that, I gain life. And he loses life due to Vizcapa. Vizcapization. Ooh, alright. Well, there's a possible victory condition. Obviously, I'm going to have to cast my spells first. Blood Chief is going to go online if I do the whole Terriel bump bounce into him thing as well. Interesting. So I can either play Angelic Arbiter or Enduring Ideal. Players, opponent who cast tech spells. That could screw him over, and this is a big flyer, but I think, I just, like, if I, the longer this game goes on, the more sick advantage he's going to have, and he's going to overrun me. So I'm going to go for the Enduring Ideal win, and hope he doesn't have... He exiled his own graveyard, there's no way he's casting or recasting Putrefy, and Putrefy doesn't even hit enchantments. So, I guess let's do combat first. I'd have to tap 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 1 for the extort. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 mana. So, I can give this lifelink, that's 6 mana, plus this, 7 is 30, exactly. So I can, yes, I think. I need 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, okay, let's do this. Actually, I'm just going to cast it now and see what happens before I do any plans. Or no, I'm going to go to combat first, because he might cast spells during combat. I want this to resolve. All right. Doing math. Trying not to make more stupid, boneheaded mistakes. Attacking with my vigilant guy. He does that. So now I can do this. Target creature gains lifelink. And I can do... If I do that... God damn that thing. If I do that, then I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana available. Exactly enough for Enduring Ideal. White, white, colorless, 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 colorless. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes, I'm okay. So now I can do that. I could actually activate this multiple times. In fact, if I did that twice more, he'd lose 4, 8, 12 life. That could... No, no, I'm just going to go for the ideal. I can still do that. That's a good thing about Guild Mage is that it works even under an Enduring Ideal. So, yeah. Blocker step. He could pump his guy and kill my Terriel. I don't care, really. He could just kill the Terriel now. This looks like what he's doing. Oh. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. You get... I get nothing. Um, so we still could have counter magic, 
but I'm okay with that at this point. Uh, two, three, four, blah, 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 blah. And alas, I cannot extort. And extort won't work ever again. Because I'm never going to cast another spell. Unless he counters this, but he didn't. So let's get... Uh, I guess we just go start going for the combo. So let's get Exquisite Blood first. I don't know which one's correct to get first. And he didn't lose any life this turn, so this doesn't get a counter, but that's all right. So next turn, unless he kills me this turn or destroys Exquisite Blood or destroys it on during my turn, I will win because I will get a Sanguine Bond and then attack with all of my creatures. He can't weasel his way out of taking some damage or causing me to gain some life somehow. Unless he has a Fog or a Wrath or etc, etc. If he has a Wrath, I'm kind of... Or if he has a Wrath, I'm fine. I, my victory is delayed temporarily. But if he has Planar Cleansing, then we're back to square one, I guess. I mean, Planar Cleansing hurts him as well, but not very much. Okay, so, yes, get your Palancron down, make a mana. Er, no, wait a minute. Illusion Mute, oh yeah, Mutant, because of the Master B. The Master Bader Mancer. Banned from TV. Meatwa, did I ever tell you about standards and practices? Well, no, Farlag. What are standards and practices? Oh, you're going to untap a whole lot of lads. Okay, if this kills me, I'm going to be pretty impressed. That'll be cool. You get a metric crap load of mana. 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. So 7 times 5. Um, 45 plus five more from the guild mage guild gate being untapped repeatedly so 50 50 mana what are you gonna do what you got for me you lose next turn by the way and then if you don't lose next turn you lose the turn after that kind of wish i had the angelic arbiter in play because right now he's going to bash me for a bunch okay making more making more mana I love EDH. This is amazing. Our decks are both doing ridiculous things. I'm about to win the game flat out, draining him all of his life like a vampire, featuring two cards that have vampires in the art, and another card that has a vampire in the art. i got to stop dropping things. Yes, yes, are you done palancroning yet? Sarah Palancron is filibustering at me with her army of clones. <laughs> Attack of the clones. Oh, right of application is such an awesome card. I never thought of using it this way, but that is tremendous. Okay, so 15 plus 17 is 32. Oh, I miscounted the mana, I guess, somehow. He... whatever. Anyway, he's got more than enough mana to do something horrible to me. All right, what is he sliming? I'm assuming he's a sliming the Exquisite Blood. Oh. Okay. Interesting then that means he has another answer for the Exquisite Blood, or he's misreading my combo. He might think that I'm going to get something that combos out with Blood Chief Ascension, or he made a terrible mistake. Or... Huh, okay. Each player draws seven cards. You can keep going. That's nice. Um, I can't do anything with this because they're all spells, so kudos for him. He got a pretty good one there. If he puts a creature into play, or into the, if he puts a creature in his graveyard, I can tarry all it for what that's worth. I suspect I'm either dead this turn or he's dead, but we will see. Hoping that I win, but if I lose, I will be duly impressed by his spectacular quintuple palancron play. Quintuple palancron into draw seven cards, into stolen identity on Eternal Witness, getting back. Temporal Cascade, or wait, getting back what? Stolen Identity again? Not Temporal Cascade, he got back the other thing. Right over, oh. Okay, so is he going infinite? Yes, he's going infinite. I'm going to F6 and let him do his thing, because I'm sure this is what he wants, and he's going to have fun with it. So, yeah, I think he, he can just win now. Oh boy, more stuff for me to do. Uh, 
I have no idea. None of this matters. Uh, Woodfall Primus would kill the Exquisite Blood, and that's all I care about. I suspect he's got this game in the bag. If he realizes that he can just loop his right of replication forever. Or not forever, but a lot. I don't know, he might not have an infinite loop. He's got... Or no, he does. He can just make a bajillion witnesses and then make enough... Like, make... Make some witnesses, make palancrons, make more witnesses, make more palancrons. Keep witnessing back the right. Oh, Mind's Desire. So it's a Storm deck he has. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's doing its thing. Going nuts. Storming a whole lot. Where did all his... Oh, they're all exiled. So what did he hit? A whole bunch of stuff. Well, yeah. If I live to see an upkeep with Exquisite Blood in play, I win. So, good for that. Wait, I should remove auto yields. And I should be, in response, targeting him with my guy. Because Mize. And what would I, uh, depending on what I get back, I guess I can get this guy. That's the only guy. Oh, wait, no. I got, oh, right, the Woodfall Primus. Okay, this is good. I can destroy non-creature permanent. Actually, that's not that great. Um, well, it's sort of all right. I guess I can destroy his... Doesn't really matter. Reliquary Tower. That's what I want to destroy. Not that I think it's going to make a huge difference. Either, like, I'm he's either winning through a combo or I'm winning through a combo. And he can make me discard my hand because it doesn't matter. He's tapping even more mana. Yep. I don't really interact with this kind of storm combo-ish thing. Ah, Rude Awakening. All right. Well, I'm probably dead now. But, or wait, did he make them into creatures? He didn't make them into creatures. Did He just doubled his mana. Okay, well, I'm sure this is just going to go on and on and on. <laughs> I'm documenting this whole thing. I don't want to cut any of it out, but you can probably, if you're watching this on YouTube or whatever, just, my god, he's jerking off so hard right now. Even my deck doesn't do this much. Like, my combo is quick, clean, like, Bang, 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 bang. Like, you F6, you click on always yield the triggered abilities from Exquisite Blood and Sanguine Bond. Both players do that. It's a nice little kind of clockwork mechanical. Tick, 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 you're dead. This is a whole bunch of clicking, a whole bunch of copying stuff. He gets his whole graveyard back in his hand now. Yeah. He can just make more mana. I hope he times out. He loses track of time. He does everything his whole deck can do. Casts everything, does everything, and then runs out of time before he actually kills me. I'm not sure how he's going to kill me. Um, giving everything haste, uh, using Rude Awakening for reals. I have 95 life, but that's not going to be enough, I'm sure. Yep. And he's maybe he'll deck himself. <laughs> He's going to get to Mind's Desire over and over and over for his whole deck, pretty much. So the whole Vorosh was kind of, the whole Vorosh thing was just kind of a red herring. Like, it didn't actually have anything to do. If I were him, I would make my general uh, the Mimeoplasm, because that's brilliant camouflage. Like, everyone's going to be like, oh shit, better, uh, <laughs> stole my Thrall Parasite. What a jerk. <laughs> Just so he can extort me. All right. Um, anyway, yeah, if I were playing his deck, I'd make... And my general didn't matter. It was just like a ridiculous storm deck. I'd... Uh, yeah, there goes my win con. So, yeah, good game for him. Um, I would just make my general uh, the Mimeoplasm because his deck doesn't rely incredibly heavily on graveyard hate. Everyone will freak out and, like, target his graveyard immediately, which means that it'll be free when he wants to actually combo off. Chancellor of the whatever. Oh, you get to tutor in your 18-card library. Most of your deck is in play now, so I don't know why you feel the need to do that, but okay. 
You have more mana. You make more mana any man ever seen. You're a backdoor man. Okay. Tutoring out of my graveyard, sure. I don't even remember what he did that did that. It was this. Chancellor of the whatever. Uh, cast without paying his mana cost. And why is it still here? Oh, it just went there and then came, stayed there. Went there and went back. I see how it is. Well, I hope this was an exciting game. I mean, his deck is cool. It went off and uh, went completely bananas. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, let's sacrifice that guy, which will let him get it back, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I gotta let him get it back. Oops. Oh, well. He actually can't destroy the Vizcopa Guild Mage, which will let me win the game if somehow I survive this turn. Because I'll tutor up... Uh, or, no, wait, did I screw it up? Oh, I did screw it up. Crud. Okay, I misplayed this game because what I should have done was get a backup copy. I should have gotten... Or, no, wait, I can still win. This is what does this. Sanguine Bond. Exquisite Blood is what is replaceable by Vizcopa Guild Mage. So, yes, I can still win. I can get Sanguine Bond, activate Vizcopa Guild Mage, and attack for three with Sangromancer. He can't hit any of my creatures with that, so I don't know why he played it. Oh, to do that again. Yes. Why is it persisting again? Oh, because of because of the Biomancer. Alright, well, yeah, he's going to town here, doing everything his deck can do all at once in a single turn. And then I cast Time Stop! Nah. I would have cast that long ago if I could. Yep, make more mana. Do you need it? I'm not even sure why you would, but like, okay, you can go for it. And, yeah, when's the lethal blow going to come? Do you, What win conditions do you have? He has 16 cards in hand. He must have some way to kill me. He could... Yeah, I don't know. Give everything haste somehow in bug. Green concordant crossroads. I mean, he'd only need the one concordant crossroads in his deck, and then he'd draw it and find it and play it. Okay, and so his turn now has gone on, I think he started at like 16 minutes or so, 15 minutes, I don't know. I'm, I hope he's giving me kudos for sitting here this whole time. Not that I'm not enjoying it, this is cool, he's doing a really phenomenally broken turn. He, I was worrying about this from the very beginning, where it's like, oh no, turn, like, any deck that opens with Rites of Flourishing is going to be like some kind of sick storm combo flood out with a bajillion, part of a bajillion in permanence into play. So, at 90 life, if he makes all of his lands into 2-2s two with Rude Awakening, he still can't kill me because he doesn't have... He'd need some ridiculous number of lands. He's casting Stolen Identity again on a creature that's summoning sick for whatever reason. Um, Stolen Identity gets back, Rite of Replication... This thing just keeps going forever. I don't know when he's going to decide to just kill me. I mean, how long is it going to take? How long does he want it? He has nine minutes to finish this turn. <laughs> is he going to kill me with Extort? Because he could. I'm pretty sure he has infinite spells now. He can just keep playing infinite spells forever. So maybe he's going to try and kill me with Extort and run out of time. How about local sports team, huh? This sure is Eternal Witness triggers. She's wearing salad. That's a joke someone else made. I can make jokes other people made. It's funny. They're all 4-3s. They're all mutants. His whole squad is mutants. He's making an army of mutant clones. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles-esque. I suppose blue, green, black are the Teenage Mutant Ninja colors. I don't know why I think that. I just sort of do. Red and white can go to hell. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are not red or white. They're bug, baby. Okay, now what are you doing? Why are you even tapping mana? You have 40 mana in your mana pool. 
Finish killing me. Fireball. Stroke of genius. Something? Anything. Rude Awakening again. Yes. Still not making them into creatures, just untapping. Just making more mana so you can make more mana in order to make more mana in order to make more mana. And then put more creatures into play that can't attack yet. And then make more mana. He will have to discard if the turn ever ends. <laughs> God damn phone. It's not ever anyone. It's just telemarketers. It's always telemarketers. I'm going to spare you. Oh, look at that. He cast Promise of Power. That's cool. 25 25 demon. That's big demon. Oh, he has five cards in his library. I wish I had some way to punish him for that. Mind crank him to death. Psychic spiral is something he could do. I don't know. He only has seven cards in his graveyard. Spitting image. All right. Uh, that's going to die then. Yep. Alrighty then to the commander zone. And he can start retracing it all to hell and back. I gained some life. Huzzah. So we're still kind of just sitting here. Waiting for his turn to end or for me to be dead. Oh, goody. All right, so he's blowing up even more of my stuff. He can't touch the guild mage. I like that I have a creature that completes the combo so that non destroy target non-creature permanence stuff doesn't stop me cold. If I... Yeah. I just need him to like leave me with a few lands. I need enough lands. I need six lands because I need to activate... Or no, I don't. All I need to do is activate this once so that I he loses life or I gain life. I need to activate one of the others because I'll have... Or no, wait, I'll need... Yeah, I'll need to activate the second ability. And... Oh, making more of those. Okay, so I'm not going to have any lands. All right, then I guess I really do just lose. And in the most slow, egregious way possible. And he gets to search for more forests. I don't think he has any left. I don't know if he'd risk milling himself out. Yeah, he's not getting anything. Okay. Um, I still have enough lands to... No, I don't. I don't have any white mana. I do have a white mana in hand, so I could... Victory is still an option if I get a turn. If he somehow doesn't kill me this turn, I can win on my turn. That's still possible even to the bitter end until he kills me. Right up until the point he kills me, because he probably is. Making yet more mana. What exactly are you going to do with it? I don't know. You've got the right of replication is still in your graveyard. You can, oh, you can just keep... How does he keep... Oh, he keeps witnessing back stolen identity. Okay. So, yeah. He'll have an infinite number of creatures. I think we get that and that he can stop now. <laughs> Um, if he doesn't have any way to give them all haste or kill me in some other way, all right, I'm not going to be able to win now because he's just going to, yeah, all right. I was hoping he wouldn't destroy all of my lands, but he will. So I'll just patiently wait until he's done. That's what he wants. He wants me to watch him doing this. I love combo decks. I really do. And I don't hate him for this. Like, I think that he, like, I could just scoop easily and he'd understand, but I'm letting him go through all the motions because that's why he built the deck, right? Like, if you didn't want to see this cool stuff play out like this, then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, deny him that, or alternatively, I'm gonna force him to play it out. Like, if he really does want to just sit here dirtling all day, he's down to four minutes on his clock. Perhaps he will not. Oh, Archaeomancer, that's a new one. Fantastic. Another way to get back stuff, like right of replication. Who would have thought? Or no, he didn't get back right of replication. What did he even get back? Root Awakening. Right. Okay. So now he's going to Root Awakening. He did not make his guy's lands. Oh, he did make his guy's his lands creatures. Oh! Ha! Okay, so his turn actually just ended. He actually didn't have... 
Oh, snap. <laughs> this is funny. Man, I really wish I could have won this game. Oh, well. Sphere of Safety won't help because he can easily just... Or it might help, actually. It'll help. It'll force him to choose between... Huh. Yeah, Sphere of Safety, I guess, is the way to go right now. Because I just... I need lands. Eh, there's no way I can win. I just want to prolong things as much as possible. All right. So I gain a very large amount of life. I have two very large creatures in play. When you have creatures with no lands in play on Moto, they get big. And yes, I believe I am auto-yielded for this unbelievably ridiculous turn, but it's not letting me, so always yield. Always yes. And always yield. Say yield and yes. Okay. God damn it. Just, all right, yeah. Act, put all the triggers on the stack. Why do I have to keep hitting OK? I said... Stop auto-yielding. Stop auto... Well, I am auto-yielding. Why is it making me press F2 over and over again? Uh, whatever. This is so stupid. If only I could just win. And you'll also note that I don't have that one if you have 50 or more life, you win the game card. I don't remember if that was ever banned in EDH, but if it's not, then that's stupid. I don't need that. All right. Epic. I can get an enchantment. What enchantment do I want? What could possibly help me here? Stop all of his billion creatures from killing me. I don't have enough mana to win with the Sanguine Bond. I could play, I can make one land drop. Or no, I can make two land drops. Shoot. Oh, that's I'm so close. Oh well. If I hit, <laughs> I can't even hit a soul ring. Soul ring doesn't even help. I can't cast it anyway. Uh, I guess I'll just get Sphere of Safety and force him to tap a whole bunch of mana next turn. Or destroy it with What's-His-Face Primordial. Yep. Righteous Fury. Okay, um, I'll just play my lands. And pass. So, it has been an interesting game. Oh, it doesn't matter what I discard. Just discard something. He, aha, he has to draw more cards. He went down to two cards. I wish that lost him the game. Oh well. Wish I could mill him somehow. Force him to draw three. Yuck, 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 yuck. Um, so yeah, let's make him pay a bunch of mana and tap and turn his guys sideways and then we'll lose. It has been an interesting ride. I'm going to die at 109 life. I mean 112 life. Or something somehow. Okay, yeah, blowing that up with spinning image. Plus that guy who is a house. He's pretty good. The primordial cycle was just really OP for Commander. Not OP, I guess, but like it's just screaming at you to play it in multiplayer and do sick things. So he is. Kudos for him. Yep, this again. Shuffles Graveyard. I see. So, yep, no danger of milling. Although he still only has 23 cards. All the rest of his cards are in the battlefield. Two minutes. Is he going to attack me? Can he click on all of his guys to attack me in the next two minutes? I have 111 life. He really can't. He's going to have to do, like, attack me with everything. And it will be hilarious. So if I'd had this Crypt Ghast in my hand in play, I could have won. Because I could have searched up the aura and activated her Vizcapa. Actually, no, I couldn't, because I would have not had enough white mana. Or no, I, yeah, I would have. I would have had enough white mana. Yep. I basically could not kill him. I, I missed out by one turn. He maybe could have comboed off sooner and done this whole ridiculous rigmarole earlier. But in any case, he managed to do his thing before I did mine. I'm not sure what this game illustrates. Just uh, watch out. Don't be fooled by uh, 
commanders because his commander to me seemed like a quick sort of I grieves it up, I attack you, you dead, I deal commander damage to ooh. Um Whisper Silk Cloak kind of deck. But no, he's a storm deck, which is kinda cool. He just temporal or uh minds desired and did a whole bunch of stuff. Unexpected results was a pretty cool card for him. Not gonna attack with your demon. Forty five, forty three, forty two, forty one. If I win this because of time that will be really funny and unjust, I suppose. Unjust. I wonder if he's, like, doing math. I wonder if he even knows he's about to time out. It's going to do the click, click, click thing for him, and he's probably freaking out now, maybe? All right, here we go. I'm going to say GG. Oh, he lost his connection. He disconnected. Aww. Well, he wins. He's kind of a douche. Like, he should have just... I guess his connection is bad, and he didn't feel like doing it. All right, well, I lose, although technically I win. In three, two, one. Victory is mine. ELO intact. So, yeah, see you guys later.